I don't know why that A is capitalized, but if it were thrown in a, so it's distance D of T and feet above the ground, T seconds after it was thrown, and we were given the function on this one, which was extremely generous of them, how, how long will it take that hat, that looks weird, to hit the ground? Well, this is the distance, which is how far above the ground it is. So what is the distance above the ground at the ground? Zero. To rephrase that, the height of the ground is zero. Okay. So all I've done is I've replaced the distance above the ground with zero because it's the ground. Well, from here we could either look for two things. We could either look to be factoring this thing out, but I think most of you guys prefer the quadratic equation on this thing. So this would be t in this case equals a negative b, which is b is 14, plus or minus the square root of 14 squared. I don't know what that is. 14... All right, I got 196 is 14 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 200. And I get a negative 12,800 all over 2a, which would be 2 times negative 16. That would be a negative 32. And, of course, since we have minus a negative, that makes that plus. So we will at least have some real values to work with instead of that imaginary garbage, right? So we got negative 14 plus or minus the square root of 12,800 plus 196. I got 12,996 all over negative 32. Okay. So time would be negative 14 plus or minus 114 all over negative 32 and we can evaluate these separately so let's look at negative 14 plus 114 all over negative 32 so this would be 100 over negative 32 which would be about 3.125 negative in seconds. Problem with this answer right here is we got a negative seconds, which would mean it, that the hat would be above the ground at negative 3.125 seconds before you. Th it would be at 3.125 seconds before you threw it, which means that's I don't know how you find that. That that kind of is an imaginary value. So let's find the other one. And that would be uh, negative 14 minus 114 all over 32. Uh, sorry, negative 32. <coughs> so negative 14 minus 114 is negative 128 divided by negative 32. And I get 4 out of that. 4 seconds kind of makes sense, I think. Because it's not negative. So you throw your hat in the air based on this equation. Four seconds after you threw it in the air, it would um, it would hit the ground. Um, one of the questions you may encounter on this is when you throw it up in the air, there's like a maximum height on that. Um, well, that would be the vertex for this thing. Another question you may encounter is how high was the hat when it was thrown? And that would be at where the time is zero. So that one's pretty easy to solve. It's just 200 feet. The vertex is a lot different, though.